in this question an open container exposed to atmosphere contains water density rho w a l shaped tube is inserted into it as shown on the figure below the diameter of the vertical part of the tube is negligible while the horizontal part of the tube has a uniform cross sectional area and length is equal to l initially the tube is motionless and such that the water level is completely flat at the flat at equilibrium here the water level is completely flat uh, subsequently the tube is rotated at a constant angle velocity omega about the vertical column such that the water level in the tube is now at a height h of the water level in the container at equilibrium so this is that height uh, if the atmospheric pressure and temperature are given as pa and uh, t and if the molar mass of the gas inside the tube is taken to be mu determine this delta s so we have to determine this uh, the rise in the level of water uh, assume that the gas in the tube undergoes an isothermal process okay so we have to take uh, uh, the gas here goes undergoes the isothermal process and uh, we have to apply some approximation using this mathematical expression uh, l square uh, omega square is much much less than r r is the ideal gas constant this is the temperature and mu is the molar mass of the gas so we have to keep in mind this thing and we have to apply some approximation to solve this problem so let us see how to solve this problem so let us first try to understand how the water level is rising here okay so why the water level is rising in this pipe so initially when uh, there is no rotation of this uh, pipe this tube so everywhere there is gas and uh, the gas is at a atmospheric pressure initially so all the gas filled in this tube will be at the atmospheric pressure now when this tube is rotated okay so when this tube is rotated so due to rotation we can see that uh, the gas more and more gas will shift towards right so in this tube the gas will shift towards right in the frame if you see in the frame of this tube so there will be centrifugal force and that will push the gases uh, towards right and we can see the density here will increase as we go towards right the density and pressure will increase and obviously here the pressure will decrease so due to decrease in pressure okay so due to decrease in pressure here so here the pressure is atmospheric pressure and this pressure becomes uh, more than the pressure inside this uh, tube so that's why there is a pressure difference from here to here this is high pressure this is low pressure here so the water level will rise okay so finally water level comes to this height uh, delta h so now let us assume that in this vertical tube in this vertical tube the gas pressure let's say this gas pressure becomes uh, let's say this is p naught uh, i am denoting atmospheric pressure by pa so pa is the atmospheric pressure at this level now okay so uh, let us apply the pressure equation between these two points so here the pressure is p naught and as we go along this tube so pressure will increase and it will become pa okay so we can write this simple equation p naught plus uh, rho w this is density of water g delta h this would be equal to pa okay to find delta h so delta h will be this much delta h is this uh, pa p is the atmospheric pressure and p naught is the pressure of the gas in this uh, uh, vertical column divided by this uh, density of water into g so to find delta h we have to find this p naught okay so we have to find pressure of the gas in this uh, vertical column okay so let's see what we can do for that okay so obviously this is given as to be isothermal process and if it is isothermal process so let's make use of this thing the process is isothermal and if the process is isothermal so and the number of moles are obviously constant temperature is constant so obviously this pv is equal to constant okay so this pv is equal to constant and what is the initial value of this pv so i am neglecting the amount of the gas in this uh, vertical column because this is a very thin and the diameter is to be neglected so uh, we can neglect the amount of the gas in this vertical column and we can just uh, do the calculation for this uh, horizontal tube okay so let's uh, do the calculation for this horizontal tube only so initially what is the value of this product pv so pressure everywhere was atmospheric pressure and volume let's take area to be capital a so capital a is the area of this tube and length so that is the volume so initial pv initial pv initial so this is pa and this is a and this is obviously l uh, but when uh, when i want to write pv finally okay so when we want to write pv finally 
so here the tube is rotating and if this there is rotation so pressure along this uh, length will vary okay so pressure is not uniform everywhere pressure will vary uh, along this length okay so we will have to find that pressure variation and let's say suppose for a small length here the pressure is p so we have to multiply by this small volume here so that pressure into that small volume that pressure here that small volume that pressure here that small volume so in this way we have to write pv final so pressure and volume of that infinitesimal length okay so we have to multiply like that so first let's find the pressure pressure function so this is the axis about which it is rotating and uh, i am taking let's say this distance is equal to x okay so suppose this is x at a distance x i am taking this uh, element of uh, gas so this is a gas element at a distance x and uh, this uh, thickness is dx so for this element okay so let's draw the free bird diagram of this element and uh, this element is obviously doing a circular motion okay so if we draw free bird diagram so uh, uh, here i am assuming pressure to be p and here i am assuming pressure to be slightly more than uh, this pressure so this is p plus dp okay so at x is equal to x at x is equal to x pressure is p so this is the force let's say p into a and uh, x plus dx pressure is p plus dp so p plus dp into a and this is dx so i can write the equation here so let's write the equation so if i want to write the equation so equation will be so pa and pa will be cancelled and the net force will be dp into a and this is going to be dm omega is square into x okay so it is rotating with angular velocity omega and x is the distance from the axis of rotation so dm you can write to density multiplied by volume so rho a dx omega square x and it is dp into a so this area term will be cancelled and uh, dp obviously rho is uh, also uh, not constant here okay so dp and this is rho so there is a relation between pressure and density for ideal gas and this relation is something like this p is equal to rho rt divided by the molar mass and molar mass is uh, given as mu here okay so i can replace this density term like this this is p mu by rt so replace this density using this thing okay so it will become dp and dp is equal to rho rho is p mu by rt and uh, this is omega square x dx now take this pressure term on the lhs and now uh, we have prepared the expression for the integration so dp by p and this is uh, mu omega square upon rt and this is simple integration x dx i am taking it from 0 to x and uh, at x is equal to 0 the pressure is uh, taken to be p naught okay so here uh, here uh, everywhere the pressure is p naught okay so pressure uh, doesn't have so much uh, variation along this uh, vertical tube okay so pressure everywhere is p naught and here the pressure varies so at uh, x is equal to x pressure is let's say p okay so pressure is let's say p here so again a simple integration so uh, i can write this in p by p naught and this is going to be mu uh, omega square x square by 2 rt and from here you can write pressure to be equal to pressure will be like this p is equal to p naught and this is uh, exponential e raised to power mu omega square x square divided by 2 rt so this is the pressure uh, as a function of x okay so this is the pressure as a function of x and now what we can do we can apply this approximation here okay so uh, this thing which is written over here is much much less than 1 so this thing is much much less than 1 so we can apply it like this and this is e raised to power x and e raised to power x can be written as 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial something like this okay and when x is much much less than 1 so e to power x can be written approximately equal to 1 plus x okay so let's write this uh, uh, apply this approximation and let's write p is equal to p naught it is 1 plus uh, this power mu omega square x square divided by 2 rt okay so this is pressure now uh, we have found the pressure as a function of x and now we have to write this equation pv is equal to constant okay so pv initial is this much and now we have to write pv final and how to write pv final 
so i will take small small elements like this and here the pressure is p and the volume is adx okay so volume will be adx so that is pv for this uh, infinitesimal element now pv for this is my uh, this is small element this is small element and uh, we will add and add addition will mean the uh, integration okay so let's integrate for pv okay so let's go for it so i am going to write pv okay pv is equal to constant i am going to write and uh, initially it was equal to p a a l initially it was like this and finally it is like this so pressure mu omega square x square by 2 rt so it is the pressure pressure multiplied by volume volume is adx now just integrate this expression from 0 to total length l okay so it is a simple integration again so p not it will become l plus mu omega square l cube by 6 rt okay after putting the limits and one l will be cancelled on both the sides okay so this l and this one l is going to be cancelled now we are almost uh, uh, at the end of this uh, solution so this is p uh, and this a is also cancelled so okay so this a is also cancelled a is also here so p a this can be written as p not 1 plus mu omega square L square divided by six RT. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to just find this pressure P not and pressure in terms of P A we can calculate from here. Okay, so P not uh, now we know. So P not is P A divided by this expression, and uh, we can apply approximation one more time here. Okay, so what I can do, I can write P A one plus mu omega square L square divided by six RT. Rest to power minus one, and now I can apply binomial ex, uh, binomial approximation, and this thing is much much less than one here, so this will become one minus mu omega square L square divided by six R T. Okay, and uh, obviously P A is there. Now we are interested in this expression. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this expression is this, and delta H is P A minus P naught divided by this thing. Okay, so we can make that expression from here. P A minus P naught. So P A minus P naught you can make from here. So it will become. So now just the matter of calculation. So P A mu omega square L square divided by six R T, and this is P naught. So we need P A minus P naught. Okay. So P A minus P naught divided by rho W G. So P minus P naught will become P A mu omega square L square divided by six. and this thing will also come okay so this is going to be the answer for delta h so this is the uh, raise in height so we have to apply the approximations properly in this question and there is a new way in which we are applying this equation pv is equal to constant here okay so that's it